Hey everyone, welcome to my yarn room. Or should I say my yarn board? I'm not sure. But whatever it is, I got a lot of yarn. And um, I'm in the middle of organizing it. And believe it or not, it looks like it's still a huge mess, but it's, it's almost there. So I, I just gotta show you guys what's going on in here real quick. Okay, we'll look at the north wall. The north wall has a bunch of stuff and a window, and there's the floor in the middle of the room. I'm just giving you a real quick peek right here. Next, we will look at the west wall. It has got a big light in front of it right now. I'll back up. That is the scenario of my west wall. And we will check out the south wall. There's the south wall. It's got the door. That little area over there is the corner. We go down, 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 down to the bottom. And oh, my refreshing Diet Coke there. And let's take a look at the north wall. The north wall has my closet. There's the area behind the door, hence no um, yarn there right now, but I will find a way to put yarn there. Goes down to the bottom and let's take a walk over here and see the closet. Yes, the closet is jam packed full of yarn. Actually, there's more, there's room for more yarn. And at the top there, I've got whips, blanket whips, so I can clearly see them when I'm ready to work on them. And of course, they go all the way to the back there. I've got things that I have crocheted, like hanging up there. Yeah, so I am going to finish organizing this, believe it or not, I am just right on the cusp of getting it all put into place. Here, let me give you a point of view from my floor. Here's the floor scenario. There's a trash bag. Oh, Q-tips. And then the rest of this is it's organized in different bags, different totes, different everything. Oh, there's a Groot. Mind you, this was a big, huge pile of yarn in the middle of my room that was five feet deep. So it is, it is uh, getting there. It's probably going to take me 30 minutes to get the rest of this done. And that is because I have done some pre-organizing for the last three weeks. But I will show you what it looks like in just a few minutes. Oh, do you remember this? We will be back in two and two. Or was it two and two? Was that Chuck Woolery from the Love Connection? Am I remembering the right thing? Am I dating myself? Yes, I think I am. Okay, let's get to organizing.
Okay, you guys, I think I have it pretty decently cleaned up. Uh, now you can see it's a different day. I've got a different shirt on. <laughs> but, and I've done a couple of mess ups in here and the cleanups again and the mess ups. Well, you know how it goes. Working on my granny square cardigan right here for the yarn hookers this Friday. This Saturday, let me show you what's going on with the yarn room. We'll start over in this corner. Maybe I should back out a little bit. Eh, that's kind of weird. But yeah, like let me give you the grand, the grand view. Okay, this is the grand view from the corner. And as you can see, I have my lights set up where the window is. I'm gonna go over, let's see, we'll head this, but oh, I do have to show you this. Look at that floor. Isn't that beautiful? Now I wanna show you something. Okay, so I had the big pile of yarn in the middle of my room and the way I dealt with it was seriously, I just had to do it a little bit at a time. And I would first start filling these shelves with yarn and I tried to categorize them as much as I could by the type of yarn they were. I would say my yarn room is about 50% categorized the way I would like it to be. Most of my ice yarn is in that bookshelf right there. I've got another bookshelf on the other wall but it, it's pretty much over on this side of the room. I've got my little alpacas, aren't they cute? And whenever I would run out of room in a bookcase, I would just pile more and more on top of it and cram it as full as I could. Um, these are my crates all stacked up together. I've got like a shoe rack up there, but I've got crates right there. And then when I had one wall full of crates full, I just started on a second layer, a second layer of crates. I mean, it's a lot of yarn and I can't see it all, but it is organized and I pretty much know where everything is. Got my, um, what are those things called? Darn good yarn boxes right up there of cotton. These are all big skeins of yarn that are pretty much stacked up in my corner. They're not on a shelf. They are wedged in between my bookshelf and my crates. Now this is interest. This is an interesting situation over here in this corner. Okay, so I started off with a bookshelf in the corner, and then I stacked crates on top of it, and baskets on top of that, and stuff in between them. Then I filled up the bookshelves, and I decided, hmm, okay. I need to put another layer of crates in front of the bookshelves. And then I think I need to stick some yarn, like stack it all up right there in front of the bookshelf. So I've got two layers on that wall. These are whips in these crates right here. There are some FOs. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five six, six crates in a box. And don't forget, I stuffed some uh, yarn in between the crates and the bookshelves. I have another bookshelf right there with yarn going up in between the crates and the bookshelf. Okay, this is an, I have three total of these uh, Barnes & Noble bookshelves in my room. They are bookstore bookshelves. Um, these have a couple of crates with yarn stacked in between and on top. And then I have my overflow of 
of, um, what's this? Hobby Lobby. Can you tell this is my Hobby Lobby shelf right here? With all the red tags. <laughs> and here, I'll scoop back so you can see the whole wall. Ah! The shelf with the pull-out drawers has some other craft stuff in it. It has like knitting needles and a bunch of other like little things. Okay, going over to this corner. That's the cardigan I'm working on. I've got yarn stacked in between. I've got two of those cube shelves. I've got a white one that's sitting on top of a black one. So I've got, what, 18 cubbies right there. Those are mostly mandala yarns. Got some Karen cakes. What else is in here? Oh, I got another shelf like for books to put my hooks. And like most of that yarn down there is Lion Brand. These are scraps. There's a Groot. That thing down there is my bag of like, it's my, my purse. That's my crochet purse. Not to be confused with my crochet bag or my actual purse. There's other stuff in it like lotion, extra scissors, you know, things like that. And then these two, or I guess it's three baskets, have all scraps of yarn in it. This over here is my studio. I've got studio equipment in there. And here's what I'm super proud of. Look at this, you guys. I've got these pretty much emptied out. They were a big pile right in front of my window. And that window right there. And they are, all three of them are sitting on top of other crates like these. Here are two crates full of whips. Ooh, this one right here, I don't know if you can see the bottom of it's like right there up to here. That's full of my whatchamajiggers. What do you call them? Granny squares. That's just got some extra stuff down there. And my mandala bag. Then there are a bunch of crates stacked up in this corner. Those are all full. Oh. <laughs> this light is in the way. I'm seeing if I can bring it down there. My coffee shops, my homespun, my wool like, and I think I've got some like ice yarn down there. And these crates right here, I've got one, two, three, four. Here's all my like bags, my Yarn Geek bags and stuff that have my logo on them. And another crate. And then here's my closet. I showed that to you yesterday. I filled it up a little bit more. I hung some of my smaller bags in there. I would open the door for you, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff, but everything's neat in here. I know where everything is. <laughs> oh, I've got yarn neatly stacked in front of the first layer. And I've got yarn all stacked up on that side. They are in the plastic bag, so they're not falling out. And then the very last side, oh, this is extra bags. And that, oh, these are the labels for Jane. I have a huge bag full of my bags that I made for moving. Got these. I don't have two layers here. Here's all my like hand dyed yarns in this, 
in this one right here. So yeah, what do you think? I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Here, I got to show you one more look at the floor. Ta-da! I'm so proud of this, you guys. So seriously, if if I can organize my hoard, anybody else can. Seriously. And anybody who saw my hoard before <laughs> knows that it is actually truly ginormous. Whoops. Here, let me do that. Is that going to work? I'm figuring out all sorts of new ways for my camera. So I hope I'm not making you sick with all the movement around. But anyway, I want to get this up, get it posted so you guys can see my yarn room. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow morning. I'm going to be flying solo and affordably geeky. Tomorrow morning, Kim is going to be from Affordably Crafty is going to be at work doing some training. So I'm going to be here solo, but Evelyn from Pink Sheep Company is going to come in and keep me company. And we're going to talk about Instagram because who doesn't love to talk about Instagram? So, oh, oh, and yarn, but maybe we talk about yarn much more. Oh, also check this out. This is, I mean, well, it doesn't look right right now because it's, uh, I'll, I'll put a, I'll put a picture right up here of what it looks like on. I, I can't do it because I have one bun and it's a as you can see, it's a two bun hat. Isn't that awesome? Evelyn's new bucket hat. You can go make this tonight. It only took me a little over an hour to make this. Uh, hold two strands of five weight together or one strand of six weight. Super easy. Evelyn does a great job on her tutorial. It's over there right now on Pink Sheep Design. So if you go over there, you can make it and wear your hat tomorrow morning while you're watching me and Evelyn on Affordably Geeky. Okay, you guys, I will see you tomorrow morning. Mwah. Love you. Bye.